guys and welcome back to another video with my lovely respectful ponies D. <laughs> so this video is the one that you guys all dread to see come up in your recommended because it's me with clippers Ooh, yeah it's an anxious time for all everyone worries when they see me with clippers ever since the uh the old Sally situation, you know, the forelock, you know, the that 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 thing. That should give you guys enough information. Just the old boxy forelock. People get worried, and do you know what? You have reason to. But I've changed. I've grown up. Um, it's gonna be fine, guys. You can trust me now, okay? I've learnt from my mistakes. I'm not gonna do that to you again. Even watching the video back myself, it, my skin, my skin crawls a little bit. Anyway. You can see with D that we ain't going to be touching that forelock because that is thin, thinner than paper. I mean, what is that? That's, come on D. Those are some poor threads there. Not a big fan of them. Today is more about turning this fluffy mess back into an event horse because we are eventing in Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays. <laughs> Three days. Three days, which is not a long time for a clip to settle down. You know what they say, guys, difference between a good clip and a bad clip is two weeks. So let's hope we don't have a bad clip today because I do not have two weeks. We are off to Ascot under Witchwood on Saturday. So Dee needs to bring her A game, basically. And you can see here, she is a fluffy mess. I mean, it's actually not showing that well. See that? It's September now, 1st of September. So her coat does always come through quite early. And a lot of you who watch the channel regularly will know that Dee actually had an injury at the tail end of last year, early this year, that kind of time. So she never actually had her winter clip. So she's kind of been a bit woollier than I'd like her the whole time. She doesn't lose her coat very well. She's a bit of a wuss, she gets cold. So she kind of holds onto her coat. You coming back? Come on then, boo. So yeah, we're gonna give her a little end of summer Start of autumn clip, make her a bit smarter, make her more comfortable because she gets sweaty just hacking out now. So she's not particularly comfortable. Smarten her up. I did take her feathers off a couple of weeks ago when we went show jumping. I do need to sort this tail out. Do you know what that, <laughs> ah, look at that. It's like a toilet brush. Me doing the tail, I know is going to wind some people up because Dee has her tail like clipped slash raked because if you pulled this pony's tail, you would lose your teeth, okay? Dee does not do tail pulling. And I'm not a massive tail puller anyway, because you know, it's quite, it's quite vicious. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. RIP Meg in the comments, because I know there's gonna be people like, you should never clip a horse's tail. But you know what? Dee likes it, so that's what we're gonna do. Whoa, Dee does not like me evidently. Also, the mane is not looking too bad. I'm just not gonna touch it because you know what, guys? You know what I'm like, it's too stressful. So, that is basically what's happening in this video. Dee Dee's gonna be turned from bog pony to event pony, hopefully. Hopefully it won't go too bad. <laughs> oh, I wish you could just see what Bear did. She just grabbed a load of stuff off of the hook. Can you see that rope swinging? She's grabbed my high vis and a rope off of the hook and dragged it into her stable because she's naughty. Anyway, yeah, shave this pony. I'm about to show you some exciting new clippers and then we'll get going. And then I'm gonna give her a little jump at the end of the video. So you get a bit of uh, riding included as well. Just quickly for the vlog, I wanted to show everyone mum's outfit today. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you will have already seen it. As a shield, you'd have broken my arm then. I don't think I um, does everyone think she looks like a grape? Can we just, <laughs> is that, can we confirm? You are a bad daughter. <laughs> Look how cross Bear is now, <laughs> I've just been taken away. Ah, what are you gonna pull into your stable now? Grr. Right, should we unbox these clippers and show the people uh, what they want? Yes. From now on, guys, we won't call her Hobbit, we'll call her Grapey. 
So for today's video, I'm working in collaboration with the lovely Master Clip. They have very kindly sent me some big clippers as well as some face clippers. So I thought I would quickly unbox them with my glamorous assistant. You wanna see what's in there? Just Let's go, Didi. Let's have a look. I think Didi will only be interested if there's any food. So we are going to try these out for the very first time today. I've not used them before, but I've heard very good things. He's like, what's in there? <laughs> Dee no, because I don't want to cut your nose. Right. Ooh. You want it? <laughs> She's like, it doesn't smell like I can no. eat it. Mm. Smell that from on earth? <laughs> She's hopeful that there's going to be food in here. Welcome to this week's unboxing video. <laughs> oh, lovely little case. Look at this, like a little briefcase. Like a little lunchbox going off to school. Mm. She's so interesting. <laughs> She's like, open it. Get it open. She said you said it was lunch. Ready, Dee Dee? Oh, there's Bear just wanting to be involved. <laughs> she says, no, not there. <laughs> So these are the little face clippers. I went for the green one. How cool oh, are they? They're nice. Excuse me. <laughs> we have very kindly been sent these. You are not to <laughs> disrespect them. Cool, Bear. You know, just... Bear is literally so destructive. Look at that. Okay. Honestly, Bear, Bear. Let's get these big boys out. Oh, the big mamas. Oh, he's struggling. <laughs> Thanks, Dee. Thanks for your help, Dee Dee. Helpful, as always. <laughs> she's like, that's it, I'm bored. Yeah, she says, why on earth are we unboxing stuff that isn't edible? If anyone would like to hire Dee for an edible unboxing, she is now <laughs> available. £100 a box. Whoa. Look, that's your briefcase and this is my one. She's like, okay, surely there's food in this one. Surely they've not sent two briefcases with no food. Woo! Oh, look at these. They are beastie. Wow. You be careful. They're fab. I really like the green. Seems like a slightly darker green. We're going to tidy you up with these. <laughs> we hold them next to each other. Look at the size difference, obviously. That's for like the big body bits, and this is all the nice intricate little bits around their face, around their legs. Oh, this is not looking good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just to quickly show you what we have here, these are the Master Clip Hunter ones, the ones you're looking at now, the big ones. Like I said before, these are kind of for doing the main bulk of their body. Nice big steel blades, if I take the little blade protector off there. These are the 1.5 mil ones. You can get them um, to cut closer or to cut further away so you can get different blades for them. But these are kind of the standard ones they come with. That there's for, oops, tightening the tension and stuff, which I will talk about in a minute. Important notice, guys, make sure you're oiling your clippers every five to 10 minutes. Uh, yeah, it'll just prolong the life of your blades. So definitely want to oil them, but they do come with oil, so that's fab. Don't use WD-40, it's not thick enough and uh, yeah, it'll evaporate too quick and your blades won't last as long. So get proper clipping oil. Next, we have the Master Clip Showmate ones. Let me show you there. You can get them in pink and blue as well, but I went for the green because how cool are they? These are like Hulk clippers. Absolutely love them. So bougie. So these are for getting into all the little nooks and crannies. You've also got little um, attachments for the blades there. So you know, you can get them cutting at different lengths. You can get that fade in, guys, that cool skin fade. I'm probably gonna give Dee a little uh, Nike tick or something, just to make her look really cool, really hip hop happening <laughs> for her event. She's so cross because her hay net is down there. Right, Dee Dee, shall we drag you out and start clipping? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> clipping! Here we have the vision of beauty. Give you guys a little before snapshot. We also have the grape over there in the background. <laughs> uh, sorry about the uh, the noise, guys. <laughs> We've got a lorry coming to uh, empty the septic tank, you know? So glamorous, this uh, world of horses and vlogging. 
But yeah, as you can see, pretty fat, pretty fluffy. And Dee is too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're gonna sort her, sort her right out, get her looking like an event pony again. One thing to say is Dee is an incredibly naughty pony. She was washed yesterday because you should always try and clip with a clean horse. Then she went out overnight and she rolled like mad. So I've brushed her as well as I can, uh, but yeah. Not ideal, but the cleaner they are, the better it is for the blades. The grease is gonna wear them down less. So would recommend washing your horses and hopefully they're not naughty like Deirdre. Right, you good to go? should we get clipping? Let's do it. Let's clip the pony. Okay, so we are about to get started. Just show you the beautiful clippers here. Ooh, can you see the blades, guys? Nice and sharp. So what I'm going to quickly do first is oil before we get going. You can't really oil them too much. Like it said, every five to ten minutes. So there's a nice little... Come here, Mum. Don't be shy. Just uh, that little hole in there. A little bit in there. Along the blades, get them uh, running smoothly. Ready to give Dee a fresh trim. So, this here is to adjust your tension. So they recommend that you do it to its tightest and then you do it two turns back. So, one, two. You basically want to try and have your clippers running at the loosest tension possible because the tighter you have it, the hotter they get, the quicker they wear down. So to preserve your blades, you want it like as loose as it can while still functioning. You'll know if it's too loose because they kind of like rattle, they make a funny noise. So this should be the right kind of tension, but you can play around with it. Like whilst it's running, try tightening it a bit, loosening it a bit, see how they cut. You kind of, you can figure it out for yourself, but don't have them done up as tight as they can because they're going to get real hot real quick. Play around. They'll be hot like me. Right, should we turn these bad boys on? Yeah, and I'm gonna clip your hair off. Uh, it actually says, do not use them on people. Okay, mum? Okay. Okay, great. Right, Dee, you ready? Gonna get going then. Woo! So I'm gonna have a little twizzle now and just see how it changes. So I think that sounds better. You see, it went from like high pitch to a bit lower. Right, mum. Let's go. Oh, Dee Dee! Ooh. Okay, I might have taken the hay net away from this pony because she's going to be really annoying with it. And there we have it. Thank you for watching my clipping video. Brilliant. <laughs> really oh, interesting. Something I should have said is that I'm going to give her a full clip. I'm taking her legs off because they're not that hairy, so I can kind of do like a little fade. Mum, do you want to film my face? No, not really. <laughs> She's literally just, you may as well be filming the wildlife outside. I'm doing your legs. Honestly. Right, I'm going to try to keep clipping, but this hay net is really winding well, Do an up. easy bit. Do the Should tummy. Should we do her bum? Okay. We'll leave, but the neck looks good like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that's sort of pretty much done, really, I mean, isn't it? Well, that's mainly where she sweats, so she'll leave, we leave it like that. Yeah. yeah. Do you think we should oil again, yeah? <laughs> right, let's go. Let's go, Dee Dee. Yeah, go. Get on with it. So here we have the final clip. I think it's really good. I th yeah, it's I really agree. Good. This bit especially, because you know, edgy, isn't it? It's like you know those artists that like do pieces of art that some people just don't understand, like some people that aren't in the art world. Whereas this, some people will get it. Like some people will get what I'm trying to say with that. But it's a, what a are lot. You trying to say? A lot of people watching it would be like, she's literally just taking a chunk out of her horse's neck, and yeah, it's that's like, what I'm thinking. yeah, well, uneducated. Beautiful. It's a an abstract piece. Talk about you know the feelings of. Epiphanies and stuff. Anyway, quite impressed. Not too liney. People will know. I mean, just going to cover that. Greys are so hard to get without lines. So, actually, very impressive. Huh? Yeah. Should we Should we do the rest, or shall I leave her? Leave my yeah, abstract let's face. Let's do a bit more. Let's do a bit get more. Get my face in. <laughs> no, people are sick of seeing your face. 
They want to see D. <laughs> okay, right. Let's clip this bad boy. Why has she got a black blob? Yeah, there? I don't know what that is. We'll ignore that. It's a little bit of a little bit of fur missing. <laughs> that wasn't you though. That wasn't me. No, that is just a bit of like a scar. Do you know I'm starting? <laughs> I need to I need to take more but do I take more or do I just leave it like that it's like do I try and make it a tiny bit better but risk ruining it even more do you think you're good at clipping Meg no I've already said this <laughs> why do brands send me clippers <laughs> I feel like I've been set up to fail I feel like master clip would just like do you know what it'll be funny to watch her <laughs> trash another horse <laughs> send us off. nah like if you that's not too bad. No, no, if you film, if you go, if you go more that way, it'll look more symmetrical. There we go. Look at that. Really even. No, it does not look symmetrical like that. Dee, don't fart. Right, let's it's ignore that. It's not symmetrical that. at all. I just hope the judges in their car can't see it. You know what? If people are looking at women's bums, then shame on you. Shouldn't be looking hard enough. Okay. All right. Good girl, Dee Dee. You're Real all right, women Dee. have unsymmetrical tails yeah. pinned on. Oh, you're probably <laughs> pretty good at this little fella. <laughs> Shall we continue? Yeah, Shall we on. put some more music over? <laughs> for the vlog can I get away with that sick skin fade what do you reckon you see what I've done there I've clipped to around right here I, yeah, I think do you reckon works. I can get away with not clipping down here yeah I think that's quite a good idea yeah doesn't that look doesn't that look cool vibes it's time for the most stressful thing of the clip and that is doing a saddle oh, patch 
Now, this is a personal favourite of Mum's because it is never, ever equal, but wait, top tip, wait there. Where it all goes horribly wrong. So, this is my little cheat. It's not, it's not really mine, this is what everyone does. <laughs> Basically tracing, so, this is just like a little foam saddle thing. See if you had a bay or a dark horse, you could use a piece of chalk. Yeah, well that's what you can. Should I get Sharpie? No. Should I? No. No. Good. Okay, right, so. So we, I always leave mine with a saddle patch just because I don't know, it's a little bit nicer, isn't it, to have a saddle on some extra hair than it is just on this. So what I'm gonna do is trace around this bad boy and you'll be sat, if you've never clipped a horse, you'll be sat thinking that's probably the easiest thing to do ever. Like, what's the big deal? Why, why make such a big deal out of this? It's so hard, like it moves, the fur grows in different directions, like you're always meant to cut against the fur. I think and you also, are anyway. I think you've got it too far back already. Well, yeah, it, it moved, didn't it? But you don't want it to like, you don't want it poking out when you've got a saddle on. So don't too far forward, not too far back. It's tricky. One thing I should have said at the start of this video is this is not a clipping tutorial. Can we just like, pan back, have a look at my horse? You can tell. We're not filming a clipping tutorial here. I am not good at clipping. No, this is a comedy vlog, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But for someone that is pretty terrible at clipping, these are super easy to use, very user friendly, and they do just glide through the hair. So anyone else out there like me that's not the best clipper, Master Clip will help you out, okay? Right, should okay. do some tracing. The other top tip is to try not to hog the pony whilst doing this. It's not the end of the world if you do. Unless you wanna go eventing. Mum's face says otherwise. Right. Very itchy right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna press this down. Oh no, no, god, no. I feel so stressed and so itchy. Okay. <laughs> okay. But then down. look, so you press it down there and it moves. Oh, and you, I'm right-handed, so this is hard doing it this side. Should we just go? Let's go. Okay, do you right. want the black pro line? Was it not any different? No, oh, I don't know. Okay. Yolo. What was not helpful was D moving then. Right, I'm gonna press this. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Let's journey down this end. My job. You get back and film, all right? I got this. Not bossy at all. Right, step back, Mum. You ready for this? Ready for the grand reveal? Woo! Okay. Not too Do bad. Do you know what? Okay. Right. Oh, a little bit of a, goes in a bit too much there. But, hey, we don't need a close up. Do we need, need a close up of that, do we? We do need a close up. Can you know what, guys? It. That's not bad. Can you tell I got an A star at GCC Art? Grandparents are also artists. Did you have to flip around something for that then? No, I just traced everything, didn't I? Nanny and Granddad, are you pleased with my work? <laughs> you pleased with my work? Comment below if you would like me to come and clip some shapes on your horse. The good thing about this is you can, you know, you can learn on the job because what we've got here is almost an isosceles triangle, I think. Are they the ones with the different? Are there any mathematicians out there? And you can look, you can do your angles, but you have a 90 degree angle there. Um, so yeah, it's just fun for all the family really, isn't it? If you, if you do my way of okay. <laughs> Right. Right. I've probably stopped talking. I've got to Get jump on with it. in an hour. <laughs> Should we do the other, let's do the other side of that and then uh, I'll time lapse. Okay. Side number two. This is where it gets more stressful because you have to try and make it even. If you care about what your horse looks like. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Oops. 
that's fine. It's fine. Just a couple of inches off. How did that happen? Okay, no, it's You're fine. You're in a different place. It's fine. It's not fine. Look at that. Thing. Do it. Yeah, I need to do it here. Mum, please. Let the artist work. Now, if we had an aerial shot, I don't think. <laughs> I'd say what happened is I did not get the alignments quite right. As you can see here, we've got a little bit of a discrepancy. <laughs> it could be worse. It's gonna be under a saddle. Calm down. Yeah, this side's better, really. Yeah, I, I peaked. Peaked too early. Oh well, <laughs> we tried. Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again Okay, so just having a little break. You can probably see in the background there, Dee Dee is mostly all done. There's a few bits the other side I need to tidy up. I'm really humming and hawing about her legs because I'm not that good at these skin face guys. <laughs> I can't get it to look that great. And I know like, because her lower legs are dirtier, it looks worse, but I'm thinking I'm actually gonna take them all off. Um, but yeah, I'm just having a really quick break because the blades have gotten quite hot now. They've basically done a full clip and I've only got one set of blades. So like I would really recommend getting two sets of blades so that you can swap and change them. Um, because yeah, I basically just need to give them like 10 minutes now to cool down. So I'm just untwizzling all of that. Super easy. The like screw bit comes off. It's got a little spring in there. Bolt drops down between the middle. Sorry, I was just looking at how dirty my hands are. How gross is that? And then you'll see the blades just come off like that. So whilst I'm waiting for them to cool, I'm gonna give that a little clean. I've got a brush that they sent with the clippers, which I've already used. You might not see it on time-lapse. Yeah, so I'm gonna give these a little clean inside. I'm also gonna give the blades a little bit of a clean. I mean, they're obviously not that hot because you can see I'm holding them. Some clippers I've used in the past, literally they will be burning after, I don't know, 10 minutes clipping. So these aren't that bad. I can literally hold them in my hands and they're metal. So you can tell they're not actually too bad if I can hold them. When you're doing intricate bits or sensitive bits, make sure your blades are cool. I always like every two minutes, I'll just put them on my hand and hold them and see like, is it okay on my hand? Is it too hot for me? Like, is the horse gonna be okay? Obviously horses are like super sensitive. Their skin is very sensitive. So yeah, just make sure it's not too hot because that is the time when you'll be clipping legs or something and it will be too hot on their skin and it'll burn them and then they'll snatch their legs and it all goes very downhill from there. So always check your blades. A top recommendation of mine would be to have two sets of blades because then you can change them whilst you're clipping and it's super easy. Like if you're only clipping one horse, then yeah, you probably don't need to, but if you've got a whole yard full to clip, definitely easier to have multiple blades. Anyway, these have already cooled in the time I've been talking, so I'm gonna pop them down there, give this a little bit of a clean, and then finish off the other sides, do her legs, do her face with the other clippers, and then do that tail, which I'm a bit anxious about. Okay, here we have the mostly clipped D. You can see so much hair on the floor. Um, I've not done her head yet. I'm waiting for Hobbit to come back out and film, but actually looking quite good so far. Her legs, I have gone for a half skin fade. Can you see there? That's where it's longer. Um, I don't know. I just thought like I'll try and protect her legs a little bit more because we're going to start getting mud soon. I am going to sort these feathers out, but I'm going to do that with the smaller clippers. Dee, can you stop hoovering up disgusting hairy hay? Anyway, this is how we're looking. What do you reckon, guys? Smart? I'll sort this face out. Good girl. Use the smaller clippers for that and sort this tail out and then we're ready for jumping. 
also gonna sort this out. I'm gonna sweep up all that hay because that cannot be good for you. D, no. So I'm gonna start with the big clippers to do like her cheek and this bit here because these quite good. And then I'm gonna move on to small clippers to do the more intricate bits. Is that all right with you, miss? Let's so, know. Let's go. Quieter. So the show make clippers. I'm not gonna put any attachments on them. That's 1.4 mil and we've been clipping at 1.5, so what's point of a mil for that? We'll see. Between friends. So Good girl, Didi. just to see how much quieter these are. Oh wow. Oh, it's like music to your little tiny ears. Are so let you do her ears with this? No. I don't tend to clip their ears. No. I also don't clip their whiskers because I think it's mean. So look at that. It is just nicer using these small clippers, especially against their jaws, so it's not like rattling their bones. And as you can see, Dee just loves them. They're a lot smaller, so you can get into these little bits quite easily. Mine does saggy skin. No, Dee Dee. <laughs> What's that about? Right, Dee Dee, it happens to us all. <laughs> yeah, it does not make it easy clipping with that. You need to pull your skin around. Oh, sorry. Just don't mention it. It's a free range pony. Girls are getting annoyed if you try to do my ears. Doing the tiny little bridal patch up there. I'm not doing your ears. She's so tolerant as soon as she thinks you're trying to trick her into doing rears and then she's like, I ain't got no time for you. Get away with kind of just blending it so yeah, it's not that's like a good idea. clipped. Ooh. I mean, if I can get rid of that doing a full face, yeah. I'll be happy. Oops, bye. Got any holidays booked this year, ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> about Corona. <laughs> She's like, don't call me funny with me, Meg. <laughs> I'm actually really peed off right now. Right, we're going to do some leggy time. I'm using the smaller clippers again. These are really, really good, but I feel like it's just good practice to use smaller clippers because you can have really nasty accidents using big clippers on horses' legs when they snatch. So just going to get rid of this little bit of feather. Oh, yeah. Do you like that, Georgie? Sure about that. Is that doing bits for you? It is, man. Look okay. at that. So, bye. Georgie, what do you think of the skin fade on the legs? I don't know whether to take everything off. It's actually, like... you wouldn't even really know. No, and when, she, when they're clean as well, I feel like it'll be fine. Yeah. All in favour of the skin fade, say yeah. aye. Yep, aye. aye. Excellent. So, it's time for a lot of people to unsubscribe because this is going to offend some of you. It's already offended that girl right there. <laughs> she's so doing she, it. She stood at the top. Ah, hold that pony's head. <laughs> I don't want to see. <laughs> so yeah, as I already mentioned, if you try and pull Dee's tail, you shall lose thy teeth. She will she will try and kick you to shreds. So I I I clip a little bit. I don't clip all the top bit. Can I just confirm that? You'll see after, you're gonna just love it. Bit. You're gonna love it. So what we're gonna do is shave all on that. <laughs> right. We're not, we're gonna do it good. He doesn't girl. even like this, so I just go for the under bit, the under bum. Good girl. Smells divine when you get over here. <laughs> I'm using the big clippers just because Dee's tail is bushy. Uh, might regret it, we'll see. Made the best man win. Yeah, but... Why do you have a little clip? How are you feeling, 
Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be sensible. I'm putting the clippers down. I'm going to get the rake, get the scissors, and give George's hair a nice little trim. <laughs> now we get the little rake. Just rake down this. You wait till you see this. You'll be wanting me to do Bailey. <laughs> looks all right from this angle. What angle's that? Well, you can't see it <laughs> behind me. Right, let me just... We'll break and then we'll get Georgie's live reaction. From this angle, it looks it's the because the triangle's crooked. Oh, yeah, the triangle's crooked, by the way. Oh my. But that it makes the whole tail look, yeah. You know. To be fair, Dee is stood on the wonk right now. Look at her. Look, it's a good job you don't sit straight. That will help. <laughs> you can it back out. <laughs> now, the thing we've got to remember here, guys, is all my teeth are intact, and that is the main aim of the game. Oh Right. <laughs> Georgie, come and have a look. I'm actually quite nervous. It's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> it's right, but what would look worse, that or me without any teeth? I mean, if you had a punch there, it might just straighten that out a bit. <laughs> just... <laughs> okay, so this is the finished product. So what would you rate it out of 10, guys? Seven. Take that, Georgie. I mean, the clippers are 10. Your attempt with the clippers is something else. <laughs> the opposite end of the scale. Rude. Well, I personally think D looks quite good. I mean, yeah. you know, considering greys are hard to not have lines on, I don't think there's that many lines for someone that's not very good with clippers. So highly, highly recommend these. These are fab, super quiet, nice and small, good for getting into those little nooks and crannies. And yeah, less about the tail, the better really. <laughs> Should we go and jump now? Yeah. Yeah. Fun stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go and change out of these clothes because I am so itchy. And then we're going to jump. <laughs> no one wants to see my hairy legs. Actually, to be fair, probably less hairy. I'm joking. Or am I? What are you doing? <laughs> are you getting more comfortable on the vlog? No! No, okay, cool, whatever. So, change of clothes. Got my Shire's top on, Shire's breeches on, Gallop and Glory cap on. Um, we're about to set up some jumps in the school. Got a tripod so I can get you a juicy time lapse. Sit back and enjoy, guys. <laughs> Welcome to our Poly Jump Grand Prix. Starting at 90 centimeters, we've got a little uh, two strided double of uprights there. We've got a meaty oxer in the middle. We're talking 90 centimeters. Crazy! Gonna move this bad boy out. I've always wanted to do this with the two uh, multi cut wings, and uh, I personally think it looks cracking. And this is gonna be just an upright. We've put it along the long side to try and uh, make it difficult basically because I'm such a bad one for when there's an upright and I've got loads of space. I'm just like, hold, 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 hold. And then there's no stride. So that's what we're doing. Word from our coach. No comment, no comment. Cool, cool, cool. You're like one of those footballers is like, mm, 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 mm. no, can't talk, can't talk. Yeah, Woo. right, it's gonna get a pony. I'm feeling hot to trot. Like the Nikki T workout, yeah, what are we doing tomorrow? Yeah. We've encountered a little bit of a problem. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> God, these hair is growing really quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that will be amended at a later date, but for now, we're going jumping, baby! Woo woo! She's not looking pressed. I think she looks really fit though. 10 out of 10 would date you, D. Woo! Oh, she's <laughs> Oh, also, guys, so... Oh, no, look. <laughs> I can't turn around now. Seamless. <laughs> Seamless so, Georgie has said to me, because I always ask about my spirits, because if you guys don't know, Georgie can actually ride. She's, like, on the young, well, like, doing, like, young rider stuff, which is cool. Intermediate, basically. A lot bigger than what I do. Uh, but that's not important for this vlog. 
<laughs> so yeah, I asked her about my stirrups and she said how they were were probably okay for jumping, show jumping, but she thinks I should go up cross country. So this is currently cross country length, but I'm gonna have a little jump in it today. See how we get on. Also what Caroline Moore told you to do, so. Caroline, yeah, I mean, you mean you're, the, you're similar sort of standard to Caroline, aren't you? Oh yeah, basically. <laughs> She like she's meant to train us, but I just sometimes so have to give her a few yeah, tips. Like, yeah. Online. Yes. Caroline, mate, come on. For the diagonal. <laughs> about it. Okay, I'm gonna warm up. <laughs> Third time lucky, you got it next time. Oh, they are quite rosy. <laughs> Woo! Working hard. So, I mean, I'm going to say it. Georgie's just given me a lesson, haven't you? Really? No, it was just simply some pointers. She's good, guys. 10 out of 10 would recommend. There she is. Um, yeah, you might not hear that much on camera because Georgie's shy and won't necessarily talk while she's filming. But very helpful. Thank you, Georgie. Quite right. Good to have someone on the ground that can uh, yeah, give me a few pointers. But no, quite pleased, definitely stuff to work on, but hopefully Ascot will go all right, you know. It's just a 90, and it's Dee's first event back anyway, so if it all goes wrong, I can blame it on that. <laughs> nice. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Massive, massive thank you to Master Clip for very kindly giving me those lovely clippers to make Dee Dee look slightly more like an event horse. She looks a lot more like an event horse, and uh, yeah. She's a lot more comfortable now, still a bit sweaty, but you can imagine how bad she would have been when she had that gigantic, thick Connemara coat. So yeah, massive thank you to Master Clip and thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Georgie. Thanks, Mum, for showing up right at the end to pretend like you've been helping us this entire time. Anyway, see you very, very soon, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Go follow Georgie. Georgie, what's your Insta? Georgie Brasington eventing, but there's an underscore somewhere, I think. Oh, fly. Um, I'll pop it up on the screen now. Go follow. Follow me. Follow Hobbit. Live your best lives, and I'll see you very, very soon.